Hello and welcome to a demonstration on SPSS Modeler using a regression node. For this demonstration on a regression node, we're going to talk about our objective, build our regression model, and then evaluate the results, and then also talk a little bit about methodology. In a prior video, I demoed some visualizations in Cognos Analytics based upon SPS projections for Major League Baseball players. In this demonstration, I'll be building a regression model, which is one of the many tools that I use to make my projections. This is the SPSS Modeler Workbench, and the first thing that we're going to need to do is add our source. And our source for this example is an Excel spreadsheet. At the bottom of the screen, I'll go to the Source tab and grab the Excel node and drag it onto the workbench. We'll add our source by double-clicking on the Excel node, and then going down to the ellipsis and finding our file. I always then check my data set by going to the Preview button. And this will just give me a quick look at what my data set looks like. The file looks correct, so I'll close this out. The next thing I'll do is go to the Field Ops tab and grab the Type node and drag it onto the workbench. I'll right-click on the source and select Connect and then hit Type. I'll double-click on Type. And what the Type node allows me to do is tell SPSS what I want to use as inputs and what I want to use as the target as well as the measurement type. Now I know I don't want to use the key, so I'm going to switch that from input to none. And what I'm trying to project is salary, so I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and change that to target, because that is what I'm trying to project. Now the next thing I'm going to do is select my model that I want to create. And in this case, we want to use regression, so I'll drag it into the workbench and I'll connect it to the type node. And if you notice, you can see that salary is actually appearing below the regression node. That's because I selected the target in type, so it automatically passes that along to the regression model. To run this stream, click that green button at the top of the screen, and you'll notice that this gold nugget is generated. That means that SPSS has mined insight for you, hence the gold nugget. By double-clicking on this model, a bar chart will display. And what this bar chart is showing is the most influential variables in determining a player's salary. So the number one influencer is age, followed by weighted on base percentage. In the advanced tab of the regression model, there can be many tables and many metrics to look at. Uh, to keep things simple, we're just going to focus on the coefficient table, and specifically the significance column. For the project that I'm working on, I'm using a 95% confidence interval, and that means that I want to use variables that I'm 95% certain are affecting a player's salary. So in that far right sig column, any number above .05 does not meet my significant level standard of 95%. So the higher the SIG value, the higher probability of that variable causing an error within your projection. So what I might want to consider in an attempt to get a better projection would be to go through and find those variables that had higher SIG values and possibly remove them from the model in hopes of getting a better projection. The last node that we're going to add to this stream is the output node. We just clicked inside the regression model and saw what it deemed to be the biggest influencers in terms of salary. Now we're going to have SPSS make a projection by using an output node. The output node that we'll use for this stream is the table node, and we'll drag that into the workbench and connect the salary regression node to this table output node. And then I'll run the model again, and in a few seconds we'll see a table pop up. The output table node displays all that historical data that SPSS is using to help it make its projection. And all the way on the far right are a salary column and an e-salary column. The salary column is what a player was actually paid for that given season, and e-salary is SPSS projection. Using the output node, I can tell pretty quickly that this model is not perfect. That very first row, there's a player being paid $23 million in real life, yet the model is projecting $10 million. As a developer, I'll likely want to go back and make changes to this stream in hopes of making better projections. Thank you for watching this demonstration on regression nodes. For any questions, please contact eCapital Advisors.